I haven't played this thing in a long time. I played this boat nonstop. Whenever I got it, it was back in December or something, I played this boat just kind of maybe, maybe the fall. It was in the fall. Whew. I played this boat non-stop. Yeah, getting the skill. The skill is hard, man. I mean, I've got 8,200 games almost in this game, and I'm still pretty bad at it. I told you my average is 51.85. That's how good I do. So I'm this much better than average, but not much better. Just a little bit. And so, yeah. Call me Trogdor. You gonna burn an eight? <laughs> Looking good over there. And this guy, Mighty Mo, come on. So, no carriers. That's fantastic. And look at all of these great targets for Apollo Emilio. All of them, except for the Pomeran, are fantastic. We do have two radars on the enemy team a Baltimore and a Talon. Uh, we shall do some some locating of those guys. What time is it? Oh, it's 11.05. We're supposed to be done already. Well, we'll keep playing at least through 10. And then I'll hang out on, on stream for a little bit. We'll mess with uh, captains. We'll kind of talk about... Um, I'm going to update my captain spreadsheet, which is not interesting for you guys. Uh, but if you wanted to hang out for that, that'll be cool. And we can talk about captain perks. I should spec out a couple of French captains today or something. Um, and I'm happy to stick around on stream for a minute to do some of that. Although it is getting hot in this room. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today. I already complained about this earlier. I mean, mentioned it. I like the warm weather. Um, I don't like what it does to my office, especially when I've got the door closed because I'm streaming. Can you believe we I don't know. How long have we been streaming? Have we been doing this for like six months now? This has been a heck of a stream, or a heck of a few months here. We started the YouTube channel back, yeah, today's AC day, yes sir. <laughs> we started our YouTube channel back in, um, what was it, like August or something? Let's find out. Anyway, and uh, yeah, so we've been doing this for just a little while, but we really want to, you know, keep rolling. Keep keep streaming, keep making videos for YouTube. So, you know, we always do a new video every Friday on YouTube. Uh, for the last couple of months, we've been able to keep that up pretty consistently, which is awesome. Um, oh, hey, Mr. Lemon Tart 97 x thank you for the follow. Also, that is a fun screen name. I like looking for fun screen names. <laughs> Our Heisen screen name is Double Ugly. Mr. Lemontart, that's pretty great. Thank you again. Thank you for the follow. Uh, glad to have you here. Come hang out with us on Tuesday nights as well, where we're also streaming World of Warships. I gotta remember, I am in the Palo Emilio. Yeah, the first video went live on August 19th of 2020. So that was when we made our first freaking video. I don't even remember how to Paolo, guys. I gotta remember how to do this. We're gonna hit, uh, uh oh. Kill that guy. Get, get that Baltimore out of here. Uh oh. Oh, and a Talon. Now oh, this is, this is really, I boy am I on the wrong side of the map. Come get me, Talon. And let those torpedoes get you. Everyone's warships looks different compared to mine. Uh, is it just because of mods and stuff? Did you mod like crazy or did... I don't know. I don't understand, Lemon Tart. Good news, guys. I managed to Palo run one of the ships that should be preventing me from Palo running. I didn't even do it on purpose. He just got too close. <laughs> Are you serious? Baltimore? With the radar again? Oh. Might as well be working the guns, I guess. 
trouble is, is I'm going to be behind these guys, and they're going to be going the other way. And that's going to make them hard to catch. You don't want a Paolo run coming up behind a battleship, because that takes too... The, the differential of speed, right? Because then you're only catching up with them based on how much... Oh, there's the Balto. The new update. Ah, your UK player. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and you can get different cur cursors, too. You can set those up. Nice shot, Scotta. Dumping the other radar. Um, you can choose different cursors. So I have this one with the crazy X on there. I think it helps me with angled ship, uh, angled ship targeting. But who's to say if it really does? All right, 23 seconds until my smoke is ready. 35 seconds until my boost is ready. We're gonna roll up here on this Colorado, and. Uh, and punk that guy yeah you can go into the settings and there's like 20 different cursors to choose from you can waste a lot of time in there i don't think any one of them is game changing they have some dynamic ones that change their scale based on your zoom level um, and then they have like this little x version that i use and they, this one comes in a few different colors um, so you can definitely go in there and customize some of that which is good uh, there's a lot of graphical things in there like you can turn on the hit points and stuff like i run here that's a pretty basic setting, but um, but a pretty popular one. I think people like to use that. I'm not gonna hit my smoke or anything until this Colorado forces me to. I'm doing a Palo run from behind this dude, which is like the worst way to do it. Oh. Now you see me. Engine boost to shido suru. Hatsuen sochi shido. Kasai ga hatseshita. Soukyu ni taisu shiyo de This is red 5. I'm going in. Blind. Stabilize your rear deflectors. Watch for enemy Look at fighters. The size of that thing. Cut the channel red. Two. Stay on target. Stay on target. Almost there. This is it. Perfect. Mm, I wasted an extra rack of torps on that guy that I shouldn't have. I'm so nervous. I'm always nervous. I'm so nervous, you guys. Maybe that's fine. Maybe that's the perfect way to do a pallet run. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no! 99,822, we have not yet earned a pizza party, but we'll get there. We'll get there, I just need, I don't know, to shoot this Shiratsuyu as long as he doesn't die. Oh, come on! You took away my pizza! Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> I'll give you a well done for that, you earned it. I've been struggling so much on warships, it's hard trying to get the King George. I've been trying for it for two months, and it's annoying. Uh, yeah, KGV is a good ship, too. It's it's probably one of my favorite of the Tech Tree British battleships. Love it. Um, sometimes it's tough, though. You, you go through these plateaus where you're getting better and not getting better, and then getting better again, and all of that. So it's definitely worth... I mean, as long as you're having fun, and that's the thing, is you gotta make sure you're having fun as you go. Um, and there are ways to do that, but, uh, but uh, you don't wanna be suffering just to get a ship, like, because that means you'll probably suffer when you get that ship as well. All right, there it is, we did it, people. We did it. <laughs> I've not had to use this button this often. This is a really good Saturday. We're having a good Saturday. Oh no! Shots fired! Shots fired! 
Uh, I assume we're winning this game handily. No? Yeah, we're doing okay. We gotta, we're doing all right. It's still kind of manual pizza party, to be fair, but, uh... So I gotta be paying attention to my damage, but it... But it's pizza party. It's live pizza party. We're doing it. See, Vlad knows what's up. You got to spend your time and you got to focus on, you know, developing this thing or that thing. You know, working on damage, working on win rate. It's tough. But win rate's the only one that matters. If you, if you update your win rate, everything else gets better. XP gets better. It's just all better. I'm going to see if I can uh, Paolo run this pom pom. Oh, hello. Perfect. I did not see that little dude until it was. Very, very, very urgent. <laughs> well, I knew he was going to beach. He had no other choice. But yes, this is a pretty special match in this boat. This should not be happening. I am out of torpedoes, though. I might have to fire the main torpedo. I don't! Perfect. Amazing! I'm still alive! <laughs> okay. Remember when I selected this ship randomly on a whim and I thought, I don't know, maybe I could try to. This is a great game. Oh, I just krakened. You guys. I didn't even realize that was kill number five. Kraken unleashed. There he is, Z-46. Can we sap this guy to death? That'd be cool. Oh no, come on, reload please. The rate of fire on that Z-46 is dominating me. Oh no, no. That's okay. I probably deserved to get murdered at that point. Oh my goodness, 139,000 damage. As the Palo Emilio slips beneath the waves, never to terrorize the red team again. Dude, that was wild. Confederate there just as I died as well. Let's see what you guys are up to. So how do we do in the Palo Emilio? Well, I have exactly 50% win rate, so I'm super average. And my normal damage is about 53k. So obviously this game is pretty special. This is not normally what happens when I take this thing out. Um, uh, luckily, when the enemy team was using radar, I was in a position that made it challenging for them to focus me down and deal with me in that way. Z46 is the last red ship standing. Kitakaze here, driven by, powered by Rice, AKA Dr. Evix in our, uh, our Twitch stream is rolling on in here to see if he can't deal with them. And there he is, 4,000 hit points remaining on the Z-46. Both of the boats are going in for torpedo slash gun angling. And there goes the Z-46, dumped by, it looked like our KGV maybe? Okay, so yeah, 139,000 damage, fantastic. More gun hits than I normally get. I'm usually in here trying to just Paolo run, but there is more to this boat than just using its torpedoes and its smoke. Uh, up close as well as its high speed. You can get a lot of work done with that with the guns and we'll take a look at some of that when we get here back to uh, yeah. yeah, possibly. Uh, when we get back to um, uh, overlooking at the detailed report, I want to kind of take a look at how much gun damage we did on some of these targets. Nine torpedo hits, of course that's kind of the hallmark of the Palo Emilio. The thing that's amazing about this match is that I was able to do that run multiple times. I didn't take a lot of damage. 
weirdly it was helpful that I came in behind those two battleships at the first part of the match because we did a really good job of doing damage without taking damage in the Paolo. And that can be the thing that'll, that determines whether or not you have a good game is, yeah, you can get in there and everybody can do one Paolo run. But can you do more than one? And in this case, I was lucky. I don't think I did anything here particularly special. It just happened so much. It happened to work out that way for me. Five kills. We're going to take a look at those here when we get back to the uh, the detailed report tab. Three floods. Couple of spots. Awards. We take home the Kraken Unleashed, which is rad. A devastating strike times two. Um, and of course, with big torpedo hit kills, that's going to happen. And then Confederate, because we did damage to a lot of enemy ships. That's 20% of at least six different ships, which is fantastic. Team score, unsurprisingly, I'm on top. And what I love to see is the one, two, three for Clan Wrecked. We've got Suicide Clyde, that's me, up there with five kills, powered by Rice and Scotta coming in number two and number three. A total of eight kills delivered by our division. I'm just saying, you know, if you want stuff delivered on time, <laughs> hire somebody who's better. We talked earlier about how we know theory and that sometimes it works out. Colorado, 57,000 damage to uh, 23 sap shell hits for 18,000 damage. That's really good. You know, well, I was talking earlier about how the, the Palo Emilio, a lot of times you can ignore the guns, but if you do, you're ignoring a great source of damage. So when you're visible, when you're doing stuff, you might as well be working those guns unless you're trying to become unspotted for some stay alive reason. Pomern, we had four gun hits, just 2,000 damage, a couple of torpedoes for 21K. Carciolo, five gun hits for 1,000 damage. Less impressive here. I was hitting the wrong parts of that ship, or maybe that ship's got better armor in certain places. A couple of torpedoes for 21K. The Talon was really just a main battery, 6,000 damage over 12 hits, about 500 damage per hit. Um, whereas with the Colorado, you know, it's closer to 1,000 per hit, not quite, but maybe 800. Um, and then one torpedo here to finish off the Talon. Somebody else must have done a big chunk of damage to the Talon because I didn't do all of it. Uh, but I did finish him off, it looks like. Ostergotland, boy, that guy surprised me. Just popped up in the middle of nowhere, threw a couple of torpedoes at the OG, uh, got him sunk. 6K on the Z46. So, yeah, the guns are decent. There you go. That makes sense. Uh, that you'd hit him with that Missouri from the backfield. Yeah, that was really helpful and actually enabled me to go out and do the, the crazy nonsense that I did for the rest of the match. Um, fantastic. So, yeah, great battle all around uh, for all three of us. Very, very, very glad to see a great battle in the Palo Emilio.